Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a massive video. They just released four trailers right now for all the different CW shows taking part in the crossover, including Batwoman, Supergirl, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow, but they haven't released a Flash one or I haven't found it yet. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about three of them and tomorrow I will have a video if they release the Flash one also along with the Black Lightning trailer it's just too much to cover in a video also I've got the photos still so I gotta make that video sometime in the next few days so be on the lookout for that lots of crisis stuff coming but in today's video we're gonna be breaking down the Supergirl trailer the Arrow trailer and the Legends of Tomorrow trailer so three of them got a lot of stuff to go through so if you do go on to enjoy the video Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so let's talk about the Supergirl trailer first. So, essentially, I think it's Alex or it could be someone else, but they're at the DEO and they're talking over a hologram, which you can see on the screen. Not a hologram, like a sort of simulation. Earth 73 is being destroyed by antimatter. So, they talk about how there's antimatter and it's destroying all these Earths. And the first shot of the trailer is a reference to the death of Superman, literally ripped out of comic books. It looks really awesome and it's super, super exciting to see this reference and to see it actually come to life. It looks really good. So obviously I have the theory that one of the Superman are definitely going to die in the crossover. And this very much so backs up my point. I think my main theory about it was due to the fact that Supergirl is not going to die. I think Superman would be a fitting person instead. Okay, so we move on to the next shot of the trailer, because this is a Supergirl trailer, obviously heavily Earth 38 and to do with Kara. So she's looking down, she actually looks up in the trailer, and so she looks very, very sort of depressed and very down. Then we go to the DEO, we have this amazing shot right here, we've got all of our heroes, well at least most of them, I can't see Barry here specifically, but we've got Harbinger, she's rounded up as many people as she could by now and this is in the DEO but it kind of looks a bit different so is this a DEO on another earth? I'm not sure. Anyway so we got Oliver, we got Mia Smoke, we got Batwoman, we got Brainy and Alex that's interesting that they're there. I think in the far background it looks like we have Jean, I could be wrong about that it's really blurred out so it's hard to tell. I can't tell who's behind Superman, it could be Killer Frost, it could be Caitlyn but I can't really tell as of this photo. And we've got Superman and Supergirl at the table as well. So yeah, let's move on to the next shot. We've got Supergirl and she's next to Superman. There's a lot of both of them in this trailer. So Supergirl clenches her fist. There is someone else in front of her. I'm not sure who that is. It could be the monitor. I could be wrong about that. But then in all of these trailers, we get this really cool effect on the text where the antimatter is destroying the text. It looks really cool. Then we've got the shot. Supergirl, she's landing. It looks like she's indoors somewhere, so maybe it's in Geo, maybe it's in this new place, I'm not sure. Then we got the same shot as before, Supergirl is talking and Superman's there. Then we got this really nice shot inside of what looks like the normal DEO with Supergirl and Superman, so I love all the action that they've got going on together, especially in this trailer, because it really shows off. Then we go to the big sort of fight scene that we've been teased with in these past few trailers. So it's all green tinted and you've got Supergirl who is the focus of this trailer because it's a Supergirl trailer. And she sort of is there and essentially it's like a reaction basically to the explosions, to the fighting that is going on everywhere. It looks like the people that they're fighting in the background, I'm not sure who they are. I think they're just like people working for the anti-monitor I'm not specifically sure as to like if they're a DC comic book character or anything like that I think they're just sort of cronies who are going around trying to do his bidding so you got Barry in the background and you got Lex Luthor and they're fighting them and so Lex is definitely on their side you got the explosion you know the sort of white balance you know the amount of white in the frame goes up like hell in this photo you can see it right here because of the explosion Okay, so let's move on to talk about the Legends of Tomorrow trailer. So, Legends obviously is going to return with its Crisis episode, which is very intriguing on its own. Then we've got the first shot of the trailer, let's talk about this. So, it's an aerial shot of that final scene that we talked about in the Supergirl trailer prior to this. So, you can see Lex's bald head, you can see White Canary's suit, Supergirl, and the Flash at the front. Okay, so now we got these. 
this is the second shot of the trailer they're in some sort of bar or pub and you've got white canary and ray just you know chilling basically and they see something what they see is actually harbinger so this is our first in look sort of motion look at harbinger so this is lila michaels not sure if it's her normal version of herself or an alternate version but harbinger is a massive thing in the comic so please do read crisis before you go into the crossover okay so we've got this shot right here it's just like a low angle shot of the atom and he's just walking around looks like he's in some sort of rubble we've got a multiverse map and we have the effect of the antimatter going across it we've got white canary staring up into the air presumably looking at something that is incoming we've got killer frost in the crossover very very excited to see that teaming up with heatwave they're in star labs very curious to see how much of the episode you know how much of all these episodes really is on earth 1 earth 38 seems that they will come over to earth 38 for help and then you know maybe earth 38 is destroyed or something like that I don't know if Earth-38 is going to get destroyed, but then they definitely at some point get back to Earth-1 and there is some sort of, I guess, intruder in here. Maybe it's the monitor or it could be the anti-monitor. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're in Star Labs again. We've got Kara. We've got White Canary, obviously Sarah, and we've got Batwoman, Kate Kane. So they're here. They're having like a drink or something you can see in the background. And so they're just talking. Then we go back to the major fight scene. We get our first look at the anti-monitor. You can see him. He's normal size, guys. He's not massive like they teased. He's normal size. He is over there. You can see it's his costume. So who we've got running at him. We've got Lex Luthor on the right. We've got Barry as the Flash. He's running normally, which is very strange. And Supergirl's running. we got White Canary, Batwoman, and I do believe that is Jean from the last shot. Then we move on to the next shot. Still in this action fight scene, we've got Lex doing something, pointing his hands. I'm guessing he's got some sort of like machinery that he's using, White Canary as well. And yeah, that's about it for the Legends trailer. Let's move on to talk about this Arrow trailer. Very intriguing, this trailer, because there is a big reveal, seemingly. Okay, so we've got this first shot. They're in the forest. This is Oliver and Mia. They're obviously... I don't know, doing something out here. I'm not sure why they're specifically out here. It looks like maybe they're camping. Could be Lian Yu, I'm not sure. But Harbinger shows up telling them there is a crisis coming, as she did to the Legends. And so we go closer in to the shot of Mia and Oliver as they are sort of shocked to see her obviously pop up. And I'm guessing part of that shock is, oh, this is Lila, right? Or this is a person who looks like Lila. So they're very sort of shocked about that. And we got this shot right here, some sort of darkness, I don't know if he's in a room, if it's outside, but some sort of electrical like power's gone out. So I'm not specifically sure what's happening here, but someone's kneeling down. And then we got Oliver as he's in some sort of fight scene. It's not that same final battle fight scene, but he's in, you know, he's in his hood, he's in his suit, you see the background. I think this is a continuation from that shot we got in that trailer the other day with Batwoman and Green Arrow and also, you know, the new Green Arrow, Mia Smoke. So I think this is definitely the same place because of the city scape in the background. So Oliver, again, close up. He is extremely angry. Then we have the big reveal. This scene looks like Oliver is freaking dying. There is tears in his eyes. It looks like he's crying. Barry has got his arms around him. It looks like Oliver's on the ground. Is this Oliver dead? Holy shit. I think it is. What? They revealed this in the trailer. Anyway, there is sort of like this heavenly light sort of seeping onto him. So very much so it looks like he's about to die here. So that is about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to check out tomorrow's video. I will be sure to break down the Black Lightning trailer and if they release the Flash trailer. Also, I got those photos to do with Crisis to break down as well. So that's all going to be coming up either tomorrow or the next day. So be tuned and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see.